So Vincent, how has your experience of living Huntington been? My experience with living Huntington has been ex excellent so far. I've had a lot of repeat customers, um, a lot of repeat business from it. Everything has worked out exceptionally well so far. Okay, great. Um, the typical person that comes in from a living Huntington, with a living Huntington certificate, uh, do they spend more or less? Yes, they do tend to spend more. Um, I would say about 95% of, of my customers do do overspend on the security, so it has been working out extremely well. Okay, so you did a lot of um, calculating of the numbers, and um, we did a $25 to $50 worth of value. Correct. Uh, based on your calculations, what did the average person spend? Uh, average check is about $85, uh, typically. Okay. It's about 85 Okay, great. And most of the people that came in with certificates, did they bring one person, two people, three people? Do you know what that average was? Everyone brought, there was some couples, a lot of groups of four, which was very nice. And then we had, you know, some, some bigger groups of six or eight, so. Okay, great. Um, have, have, so you've seen these people come in again, at, even without the certificate? Yes, yeah, so like I said earlier, we, we are receiving repeat customers from it, so. Okay. How do you compare this type of advertising to other uh, mediums you've done in the past. Well, what I like about Living Huntington is that it's it's a close knit community. So, like I said, we are receiving um, those repeat customers. We are establishing relationships with them, and it's it's it really is working out excellent for us. Okay, great. Um, what would you say to a, a fellow restaurateur who's apprehensive about doing a deal with Living Huntington? I would definitely do it. I mean, you have nothing to lose. There really isn't anything to lose. It's 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 costing you virtually nothing while bringing in you know different possibly hundreds of new customers. Well, when you talk to the typical restaurateur, he he or she says, "Well, I have food costs that you know could be as much as forty percent." And you know, if I sell a certificate for twenty-five dollars, I'm ending up with half of that um, on fifty dollars, and I have forty percent food costs. I'm losing money. What what, what is your what with would you food, say to that, Mark? With food costs on the rise right now, I mean that is that is obviously a concern. However, you do rely on that overspend, that glass of wine, that bottle of wine, the cocktail or two, the coffee dessert. So you know, with everything in consideration, it. it I think it definitely definitely exceeds um, you know people's expectations. Plus the repeat business. Correct. Has Living Huntington brought you any customers who have booked, say, a graduation party or a communion or a christening or anything like that? Yes, actually, one of the uh, one of the workers at Living Huntington herself. She she booked her her son's graduation party with me. So. That's great. That's great. Cool. So. Um, how has Living Huntington affected your bottom line? In a positive way? Negative Definitely way? Definitely in a positive way. Definitely seeing new faces, uh, which is very nice. Okay. And um, these merchants, the, the, I'm sorry, these customers that are coming in, are you uh, finding ways of um, enticing them to come back or capturing their email or any kind of database, building a database? Of yes, we, we have been building a database for quite a while now, the past few years, um, you know, by means of email marketing and whatnot. So, okay, we great. Are great. All right, Vince. Vincent, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you.